It's Big Vic TV. Welcome to my world. Welcome to my world. Welcome to my world. What is up guys, it's your homie Big Vic. We back in the building with another video. Today, I wanna hit y'all guys with about $20,000 worth of free game, all right? So a lot of y'all be hitting me up and y'all ask me, y'all tell me that y'all want to get a truck, wanna put a driver in the truck, and I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa. Before you get it, before you start talking about putting drivers in trucks, you need to be in that truck yourself. You need to drive that truck yourself. You need to learn the business, understand the business before you put someone in that truck. I know some of y'all are like, okay, I got the money. I'm going to get a truck or I'm going to do, you know, I'm going to buy two trucks and I'm going to put my people in there. They're going to drive it. That's fine and dandy. But if you don't get in that truck and experience what it is like to be out here on the road, it's going to be really difficult to relay that to someone that has never done it before or maybe they have done it before but what's going to happen is you're going to find yourself running into several different drivers drivers get excited they want to make money they want to go out there and what happens is they decide they get out there it's not enough money for them they're doing too much driving or they want to try to book their own loads with your vehicle like these are some of the driver horror stories that i hear you know, drivers using your vehicle for their own personal conveyance. So, so there's a lot of different driver stories that I that I do come into come in contact with, and that, that I hear people that I know that have drivers in their trucks, and the amount of drivers they've already ran through. You know, drivers get excited; they fly in, or you fly them in to get in your vehicle and drive your vehicle. Then they decide this wasn't for me. And now your vehicle is pretty much wherever it's at. Now you got to try to figure out how to... Now you got to fly out and go pick up your vehicle. Like it's just some of the craziest stories that I hear. All right. So that's just one thing I wanted to address with as far as drivers going, hiring drivers and you putting drivers in your truck before you've ever even driven your truck. At least get in there, you know, drive for a few weeks. See what it's like to be out there. That way when you do hire drivers, you know, you kind of know what to expect and what what you could possibly tell a driver that they need to do when they're out there on the road or if they even if they're local running Amazon runs. Here's 20,000 worth of game for you. Free game. 20k worth of free game. And I got a couple other things I'm addressing in this video too, but right now here's a couple of things that you you guys need to, to think about. By all means necessary. What happened with with my situation when I put a driver in my truck? A lot of times I did the pre-trips myself, you know, but when I'm not around and you're, I'm expecting someone to take care of my stuff, like I would take care of it. That's not, you know, that, that rarely happens. So when you do find people like that, keep them, hold on to them. That, that's, that's a rare gem. That's a rare gem out there. You know, someone that's willing to take, to treat your equipment like it's their very own. You know, that may be a little different if you have rental vehicles. You see what I'm saying? Shout out to the box truck couple. Shout out to trucking out the box. Cause see they have an entire system that you have to go through first before you can even hop in one of their vehicles which is a great system to have in place because it's basically like putting people through a training process that's not free that just shows a, a different level of commitment if you know you're if you know you're gonna have to pay for this training and then you get hired on as a driver like that's that's genius like that's that's how it should go you know when you're hiring even in the box truck business because i'm i know when you're when you're out there dealing with 18 wheelers of course you have to go through all this training which makes sense it makes plenty of sense because you have people doing crazy stuff like pulling up at gas stations and don't realize that the box is too high to pull up in the regular part of the where the cars pull up at to get their gas when you're trying to pump your diesel so people have to be trained in situations like that you know, these are, there's, a, there's a lot of stories out there 
uh, when it comes to that. My driver wasn't doing the pre-trip as he should have been doing. Pre-trip is very, very important. Pre-trip and post-trip. You guys hear us say this all the time on these videos. Do your pre-trip inspection around that truck before you pull off. It will save you so many headaches. It will save you 20000 from doing an engine overhaul. That's with the dealership with the warranty. So that's going to save you a lot of headaches and a lot of money that you can keep and just use for general maintenance down the line. That's one section. So let's, let's, let's jump into the next section. So I had a comment. All right. So let's talk about this. You guys are probably wondering, is the box truck industry oversaturated? Trucks are selling like crazy. You probably can find you some trucks out in Cali because some people, you know, some of the drivers out in Cali, you know, shout out to Cali, but they have like different rules, regulations over there, if I'm, if I'm not mistaken, when it comes to box trucks. So there's trucks available out there. There's trucks available. I see videos all the time with guys out in Cali buying trucks. You know, truck yards full of trucks. Trucks with lift gates, box trucks, non-CDL box trucks. All right, so let's add a, add a person that left me a message. Shout out to P. Diallo. I believe that's his, uh, I'm saying the name right. So I'm going to read this comment to you guys. P. Diallo said, Big Vic, I have been following you for months and you did a lot of good work. And inspired many folks, but it's about time to get real with your audience by giving pros and cons. So number one, I already give pros and cons. If you watch, if you've really been following me and watching my content, you already know I drop videos with the good, the bad, and the ugly, which will pop up somewhere in this video. You guys can check it out over here, over here somewhere. You can check that video out. So let's debunk that statement. All right. So I do give pros and cons when it comes to this business. When you hear me say you got to be hungry in this business, that means you got to be hungry. You can't come here expecting to do one load, make $2,500 and expect to get rich in five or six loads. Okay, it's not going to happen like that. It takes time. You got to be dedicated, number one. All right, so let me finish the rest of this, uh, this comment. He says, box truck is saturated right now. It's about supply and demand. Okay. I don't recommend it to anybody unless you are ready to hit the road OTR for a month. Right. I'm reading what he, what he says directly. Let me go back to the comment. For months. All right. The information on earning potential most YouTubers are spreading for audience was accurate nine months ago. You are better off getting your CDL and run power only. Don't buy a box truck right now unless you are going to do OTR. I pass five to 10 box trucks every mile in the interstate. Plus brokers are seeing a lot of dummies joining the box business, so they kept lowering the rates. They don't negotiate anymore because they know someone will take the job. Amazon only will not sustain your expenses. Diesel is $4 in the West Coast. Insurance, you are looking over $1,000. I heard people said, well, freight in on demand, but if you go to DAT load board, one in every 10 or one in 20 of posted loads are for box trucks. Don't spend $30,000 on the box truck before you realize my humble opinion. All right. So let's talk about this, guys. Number one, you can't saturate a $790 billion a year freight industry. Let's get that. Let's get that clear. All right. You can't saturate it. So if you're in an area where freight isn't really moving, you may be a little frustrated. That's why you should have done your homework, done your research. Take a look at what moves in and around your area. If you don't want to go over the road. OK, if you want to be local, that's why you have to do your research. That's why it's important to get on a consultation with somebody who is doing this. That's making money. Versus trying to figure it all out yourself. Doesn't have to be a consultation with me. It can be the box truck couple. It can be trucking out the box. It can be Demetrius B. It can be Chris T. V. It can be Kobe Pig. It could be any one of these guys that are doing this 
to save you guys a headache before you even decide to plop down your money and get in the business. Because believe you me, I'm still making money regardless of what people are out here saying. Like, don't buy box trucks. The market is saturated. There's a new box truck couple. Shout out to JD4. I don't want to butcher y'all name, but it's, they, they're calling themselves the youngest box truck couple right now. Shout out to them. They, they subscribe to the channel. I subscribe to their channel. They're just getting their YouTube up and running. They got multiple streams going on over there. I've been checking them out. Shout out to y'all. They just did Amazon loads last week. They already done got hip to the game. They hip to how to book these loads. I told you, once you learn the inside and start learning how to book these loads, they did like $4,300 last week. They just posted the video up. Check them out. Listen, that's what I'm saying. Like, it's, it's all up to the individual. It's a you thing. You can't really look at everybody else and what everybody else is doing. I just addressed this in this last video I dropped. You got to do what works for you, you guys. And then you can't hate on everybody else that's interested in getting in the business. They may have, they may, they may be in the perfect markets. That's why they're buying trucks. You know what I'm saying? Like when I do over the road uh, loads, you know what I'm saying? I don't, I love leaving out of South Carolina, going towards Ohio, Chicago, Kentucky, Nashville, uh, Indiana. Where else did I go? Minneapolis, you know, Minnesota, all, all out there. Iowa, like places all, there's freight moving along these markets and that in those lanes. You know, if you're in the city, you still can find loads. It's freight moving out here all the time. Please tell me how can you saturate $790 billion? Come on, y'all. I'll wait. Yes, you do have new carriers that are taking cheap freight. There's nothing we can do about that but ask them to stop taking the freight. But if you know if they if they got rental trucks or they did buy their truck. They're trying to get their feet wet, get the authority wet, and brokers are willing to give them a shot with new authorities. That's their business. We can't make them stop taking cheap freight. That's up to them. But you, if you want to go out and get you a box truck, go out and get you a box truck. It's okay. This is not this business is not gonna be for everybody, you guys. This is not going to be for everybody. Anybody can do it. But everybody probably won't make it. That's with any business. Any business. Let me say that again. That's with any business. You see some people flourishing in, in, in some of the markets that you feel like uh, you, you, you can't make it in it. That's like telling somebody don't go start a YouTube channel to this week. YouTube is oversaturated. There's new channels popping up all the time and people are growing their subscriber base. Once you understand how to build it. Like I said, that's with any business. Look at all the new box truck video channels that are popping up. Or people are getting box trucks and just doing various things. And, and, and documenting their journeys. I don't hear nobody saying, hey... Why did you start a box truck channel? So many other people with box trucks on their channels promoting the business. Do your thing. I'm not hating. Matter of fact, I probably just subscribe to you. <laughs> it don't matter to me. It's not going to stop what I'm doing. It's not going to stop what I'm doing. So all I'm doing is encouraging people to take a very good close look at this industry because it is an industry that can set you free financially. It was a guy that left another comment on the same video that this guy left a comment on and was upset that his dispatcher dispatched him for a load, uh, paying like 700 something bucks. He put 300 something dollars in gas. That's why you have to take a close look at where you're going. What's the rate per mile? You know, do you have a load coming back? Have you secured a load coming back? And you're just talking about one way. And the guy only made $350. And he felt like this, this whole business is not worth it because of that one load. My suggestion was sell your box truck. You can always get your money back. And go do what you was doing before you decided to get involved 
with buying a box truck and trying this business out. If one load is going to break you, you shouldn't have never bought a box truck in the first place. I'm giving tough love. I'm not babying people in this business. If you hit me up for a consultation, I'm going to keep it 1000% with you. Ask anybody that has hit me up for a consultation. Over over 50 something, almost we getting close to 80, 90 people that have already hit me up for consultations. And most of them have already gotten a business and, 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 and went and bought a truck. And as a matter of fact, got a couple of more interviews with people that have done consultations with me. Uh, they didn't particularly, they didn't per se buy the course, but they've done consultations with me. Just through the consultations, they were able to get gems to help them go out and get their box truck business up and running. You know what I'm saying? But if you really want the ins and outs, check out the course or hit me up for a consultation. I'm going to keep it 1000 with you. You know, what we'll be able to do is we'll be able to look up Amazon through my load board to see what's in your city. We can look at the other load boards, see what's moving. If anything is moving throughout your area, you see what I'm saying? Things like that. That's what's, that's what's called researching and doing consultations. You know, Amazon will get you frustrated if you're trying to run loads and you can't see loads and you're, you have a brand new authority. If you have early access and you still can't see loads, guess what you might need to do? You may need to possibly jump over to a couple of other cities. And see what's moving in that area. Hang out there for a week. Make your money. Go back home. Gems. 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 I'm going to keep dropping them on y'all. I'm going to keep dropping them on y'all. I'm going to keep dropping them. I appreciate you guys taking time out to drop comments. Leaving comments down in the comment section. It's business. You know, business will frustrate you sometimes. Are there high maintenance costs with box trucks? Yes, there's also high maintenance costs with semi trucks. There's high maintenance costs with 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 foreign trucks. <laughs> there's high maintenance costs, period, when it comes to maintaining vehicles. That's why it's called preventive maintenance. That's why you have to do pre trips, things of that nature. I just wanted to drop this quick video on y'all, man. Hopefully, hopefully, y'all guys, y'all get some nuggets out of this video. You know, hit me up if you have more questions. Drop them down below or hit me up for the consult consultation you guys you guys always ask me uh where can you get the course at down below in this video and it, there's a description box if you hit it if you're watching this on mobile or if you're on a desktop you can just hit the description box it's a little drop down and all the information that i have available will pop up in that box so you can look down there and get all this information that may pop up across the screen six figure box truck biz.com is the course Calendly.com slash Big Vic Coaching is where you can hit me up for consultations. Okay. A lot of times I assume that you guys already see that in the, you know, down below in the description box, but apparently you guys don't really click on that, click on that and drop it down. That's what you can do. All my contact information is in there. You guys that email me, ask me how could you get consultations? I always respond back. You know, I try to do my best to respond back to almost every single comment. If I can, if it was a question that's already answered in other videos, sometimes I don't respond back to that because what you have to do is go back through some of my other videos, look at the titles and the answer that you're looking for may be in that video. You feel me? So that's it for this video, guys. I'll see you guys in my next video, man. I appreciate y'all. All right. I appreciate y'all always. Always hustle. Never stop growing until the next video. Peace.